All right, settle down, settle down. But Mr. Paraco, what are we supposed to do? We can't guarantee a win this year. We don't know these minor Right, what are we gonna do? You'll be fine. All you need to do to win the spirit stick is have school spirit. Mr. Paraco, when have you ever heard of a sophomore winning the spirit stick? Gather round, and I'll tell you all about the time that the sophomores won the spirit stick. It's all right. Settle down. Yeah, Settle no, down. I, I, I just, I just, I just, Mr. Paraco, we don't know what to do. We can't guarantee a win this year. We don't know these numbers. Listen, kids, stop being so negative. All you need is school spirit to win the spirit stick. Mr. Paraco, we have you ever known sophomores to win the spirit stick? Well, why don't you guys go ask some other classes about their sophomore year? I mean, I guess so. Uh, let's start with the juniors. They just finished their sophomore year. So. Junior, Elmo was wondering if you could help us sophomores. We really don't know what to do for Spirit Week. Oh, Elmo, you don't gotta call me Mr. Junior. Just call me Brad. Yeah, I guess I can spare you some information. Just don't tell me why I told you this, all right? A few moments later. Thank you so much, Mr. Junior. Oh, I mean, Brad. You've helped us so much. No problem, dudes. Just hope I don't regret it later. Uh, good luck and have fun, I guess. Wow, Mr. Junior really helped us. At this rate, we're not going to be the night graders, but we're going to win. Let's go to the seniors. Yeah, let's go! Hello, Mr. Senior. I'm always wondering if you could help us and tell us what you did during your sophomore year. Yes, please tell us. We never got any help. We were on the cast there. Full experience your first two years of high school. Right. And sure, with the juniors, but if Franklin has taught me everything, it's that you need different perspectives, and we only have one. A few moments later. Thanks, Finn. But guys, he just told us the exact same thing that Brad told us. Hey, sophomores, can you guys help us with Spirit Week? We're kind of at a loss of what to do. You guys asking for our help. We're only sophomores. Well, we were going to ask the seniors, but they refused to give us any information. And then we thought of asking the juniors, but they didn't want to help any freshmen. And that's how we ended up with you guys. Plus, you guys got us third place last year. Well, if we were a last resort, I don't know if we should really help you. Come on, Big Bird. Remember our freshman year? We were lost, too. But we tried our best to make it work. And we got third place. Okay, okay. So basically, we were very so freshman, right? And it was like, kind of hard because the juniors were the skinny juniors and couldn't be like, criticized them, so it was like, kind of hard. But we managed to get third place and get determination and perseverance through our shoes. Right. Really? Is that all there is to it? That's literally all there is to it. I mean, it's called the spirit stick for a reason. You just need spirit in order to win it. I don't buy it. There has to be some sort of cheat sheet or some way to crack the code. Little did they know that spirit was all they needed to win the spirit stick. All right, kids, quiet down. It is now time to announce the winner of Spirit Week. Wait, what? I thought we had to display the stuff we've been working on in order to win. Well, what happened to the other things we worked on? Our banner, our door. Oh, that was just for us to see your spirit through your work. The real winner of Spirit Week is who had the most spirit throughout the month, helped their peers, helped their friends. So Elmo and his friends wasted their time? Of course not. The faculty has been watching very closely at all the classes to see who showed the most school spirit. And the winner is... Sophomore! And they all lived happily ever after.